Hello everyone! Welcome back to Single Girl Budgets. My name is Jessica and today you guys we're doing our first paycheck budget for December. How does that even happen? Is anyone else like blown away? I actually just realized I need to flip my calendar but I'm not gonna do that right now. My ADD was like squirrel. Uh, so it's December. Please look at these super cute washi that I have. Uh, this is available in my shop, Single Girl Budgets, if you guys are interested. I know it's a little late. I don't know if I ever did a new release video or if I just like put it there and was like, everybody will see it. It'll be fine. Whatever. But yeah. So I am going to close out my last budget of November and we are going to set up our first paycheck budget of mm -hmm, December. Uh, we will do our debt tracker and our sinking funds another day because I ain't got time for that today. In fact, I am waiting on a phone call, so I was not able to put my phone into airport mode, which, or air, airport, airplane mode, which means, I mean, somebody might call. We might have to do this in like two or three sections. So let me go ahead and zoom you all in. I feel like this is always so tiny and I'm so sorry guys, but this is my paycheck budget for November 27th through December 11th. Yes, I paid most of December's bills, but it, the money came in in November, so I still count it as a November budget. As you guys can see, if you remembered, we were uh, way over with our rollover. And you guys, I'm not going to lie, I ran the numbers. It's even worse. I don't even, I don't even know. I'm going to grab my pens, my highlighters, my calculator. I got my stickers. Let's close this out real quick. So first things first. Uh, and today I am using the Parku erasable pens. You guys, I love these. There's actually going to be a giveaway coming up soon with these pens. Uh, they sent them to me to review. I actually already own them. So they sent me two sets and I'm going to give away two sets. But that's not all I'm going to give away. And my life has been crazy and I have not had time to put together like the whole little like giveaway gift. So we're getting there. It 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 is what it is. So, oh, all right. I did not make any extra money. So we can just go ahead and draw lines through all of this shenanigans. My income did in fact end up being 1127. Horrible, horrible. And yes, I am writing sideways. I apologize. So my mortgage did not change. DPNL did not change. Progressive did not change because they stupid. LFS did not change. Car didn't change. Sinking funds was cash, didn't change. Cash didn't change. And my e savings did not change. Only thing that changes, and this is why I love the way, like, paycheck budgeting, the way I do it. I don't know where I was. Stanley started barking. But one of the reasons I like the way that I budget by paycheck is that my numbers very rarely change with the exception of spending and in theory all right i don't know where i was because Stanley was barking but basically i love the way that i do my paycheck budget because these numbers don't really ever change my spending does and i actually really should break this out into more categories and have you know food and spending and alcohol and all those random categories but i just i'm a i'm a i'm a simple type of person I need things to be as simple as possible, otherwise I don't do it. So let's go ahead and flip over to our spending trackers. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I filled these out 10 minutes ago because I did not track my spending, which is why I'm extremely over because I think I actually would have been, I think I wouldn't have been as bad had I actually tracked my spending. So I did go ahead and calculate week one just to make my life a little easier. As you can see, I never track my cash because I forget to. Uh, credit was 102, debit 76. That's not terrible. Now, if that would have been for both weeks, hells yes, that didn't happen. You will see if you are new to my budget videos that there are some lines that I don't highlight over here. These are things that are subscriptions that I know I'm paying for regardless and gas because... I don't really drive in circles randomly to waste gas, so I don't really care how much I spend. But we also will see there were zero debit transactions over here. Okay, I'm just going to come down here and boop, boop. Apparently, we used our credit card for everything. So I'm going to go through here. 
Uh, Amazon, I did order some tea towels. These are so I can make a gift, a Christmas gift for my sister and brother-in-law. I got a new grill, which you would have seen last spending tracker. It was very expensive. I spent a lot of money on Black Friday, you guys. But I decided to get some nice steaks and we grilled out with my friends, meaning I also bought alcohol. I did not drink all this in one night, you guys. I drank a quarter, not even a quarter of it. I still have a shit ton. I did have to buy dog food. I had not accounted for that. I was not prepared for that. But I went ahead and got two bags and did like the subscribe and save. So I'll get billed every like six weeks and they'll just ship it to me. Makes my life that much easier. Um, I'm really upset about this every plate because as you can see right below it, I went to Aldi because I was going to stop doing every plate because I want to get back into my lower carb eating and every plate is cheap. And it, the reason it's so cheap is because they do a lot of rice and potatoes and I want to try to get away from that. Well, you guys, I thought I'd canceled the subscription. Nope, I had just skipped weeks. So that showed up today. Fun fact. Uh, Torrid got me because, you know, they still, they were doing like 60% off and I had a coupon and yeah, meh, meh. But I am set on clothes. I should not need to buy clothes like ever. And then, of course, I got gas and my Nintendo, which I keep saying I'm going to cancel. But you guys, I recently started playing it again because I'm crazy. And I just don't know what I want in life. So let's go ahead. Oh, get you out of that glare. And add all these credit transactions up. All right. So we spent another $291. $291. Two ninety one point eighty three. Whew. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and add up the total spending for both weeks. So we got that two ninety one. Oh, glare, 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 glare. Go away. Nobody likes glare. One hundred two fifty eight plus seventy six forty seven. Whoo hoo four seventy. Joy, Jessica, you've got to. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My call that I was waiting on came in finally. So. Uh, my phone was being weird. I don't know where I was, but I added, we added up all of our expenses. They came to four seventy eighty eight. So I'm going to round up because you guys, I just don't like dealing with change. So $471, which means I was over by two seventy one. We can just put that all right here. So in theory, if we take this number, T wait, wait, do you add a, wait, do you subtract a negative? I don't know, but either way, it, it's going to be this plus 271. <laughs> so we are going to be at 1778. Too much math right now, you guys. Too much math for me to know that I'm over on spending. Let's zoom you guys in. There we go. So we did an extra $271. Um, yeah, it's better than last paycheck budget where it was an extra 706. So we're, we're getting down, but unfortunately I had less money to work with this time. So my actual rollover is going to be a negative 651. And basically all I did was take this, our actual spending, or I'm sorry, our actual income minus our actual spending, got our actual rollover. So Dear Lord, that's done. Anybody else feel that way when budgeting? All right, let's zoom you guys out. And then it is time to set things up for December. And it's probably a good thing because this book is getting real thick. And I think she needs a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this page. Put my debt update here. Put my sinking funds here. And then I will go ahead. And what I will do is because I like to have my spending trackers next to each other. So I'm going to put my spending trackers here. And then I'll put my budget on the next page. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my spending trackers and we'll just set those up real quick. Um, I think I'm going to use that washi because I think it's super cute. So let's just go ahead. All I do is I put some thin washi down here at the top. Or I'm sorry, some thick washi. And I kind of just do both of them at the same time. No reason to... There we go. And then I'm going to take my spending tracker sticker. And this one printed beautifully, but you guys are going to see on the next one 
Sometimes, like if I have miscuts or whatever, I use those for myself because obviously I'm not gonna send those to someone and try to sell them, but they're completely fine for me. So we're just gonna do this. And you will notice I have two totals options. I have the total expenses broken down by method and then I have just a flat out total spending sticker, which I don't ever use because that's not how I do things. And that's the beauty of personal finance. It's personal. So now let me, I'm going to just zoom you guys in so you can see just how bad this is. Are you ready? So here is our spending tracker sticker. Yeah. Like, I don't know what is up with my silhouette. She was not a happy camper. Like we've got white on this sticker. I almost thought about cutting it off, but then like it wouldn't be the same length and I don't know. And then my favorite is this total expenses box. Actually, I guess it doesn't look that terrible, but it's still, yeah, like it's still pretty bad. Like she, and actually you'll see, I cut all, like I cut three of the four spending trackers at the same time. So you'll see it again next time. So the other thing that I do is I like to keep track of what, like what dates are what. So I have these little tiny stickers from Planner Kate. This is a freebie sampler that was a miscut. Uh, it is S244. I'm trying to just use what I have, guys. And I think we're going to do this color. But does anybody know what dates these are for? So it's going to start December 12th. Wait a Oh, yeah. <laughs> meh, meh, meh. Um, I think I'm going to do the purple ones. So we are going to do 12, 12 through. And then I only do a week at a time. Oh, this should have been the 11th. Because I usually do it on Fridays. Erasable pens for the win. I mean, it's not great because it's on sticker paper, but. So 12, 11 through 12, 17. And then we have 12, 18 through the 24th. And then what I do with these little guys is I just stick them kind of up here in the corner, just a way for me to keep track of what's what. Because otherwise there's no dates and I get very confused easily. Okay, oh, I just kinda, all right. And then actually this is perfect because I'll have two that I can use for next paycheck. All right, so let's go ahead and flip our page over. Oh, why is this so thick? And let's do our paycheck budget. So I'm gonna need some thin washi and I think we'll do the trees cause I think they're super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these down and then we're gonna do our paycheck budget. Does everyone, how is everyone's like budgeting going? Are you all ready for Christmas? Are you all done? You guys, I made a whole Christmas gift tracker and I haven't opened it. Like I started a new job at work and I have just been like, I've been crazy busy. It's unreal. Like my life is crazy right now. All right. So my income sources. So every paycheck we have a rollover and this is so hard to write on. Now I also do something a little different and I do what I like to call a credit rollover because basically I account for my expenses that I use on my credit card, but I don't necessarily pay them right away. I just do one payment. And so this way I'm not double accounting for them because I'm gonna put down in my expenses so that I have to make my payment. So that's kind of why. I'm also gonna put my income and then, sorry, Stanley's crazy guys. So we got our income and then I always leave a line for miscellaneous just in case. So let me go ahead and put my total income. Gosh, I just love these stickers, you guys. They're so cute. Ugh. All right, and then we need some thin washi. So I'm gonna do this guy here. I think it's just super pretty. And then we're gonna do our, our expenses. All right. All right, so now we're gonna do our expenses. Clearly Stanley is like over life right now. 
So this paycheck, I have to pay my HOA dues. I have to make my credit card payment. I also have a Amazon credit card that I used to get, um, like a, I got cash back or something like $70 off an order. Well, I forgot to change the card on my Amazon account. And so now every time I order off of Amazon, it just goes to this card. All right, if there's barks in this video, I'm sorry, but he is, he's cray cray today. Uh, every paycheck, I do move $100 into an electronic savings account. I never see it. I'm going to get out my cash, which you will see tomorrow in my little like cash stuffing video. I am going to try, 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 try to keep my spending under control. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. And then I have a few more Christmas gifts I need to get. Nothing major. Um, but I need a couple gift cards and I need some odds and ends. And so I'm going to go ahead and give myself some Christmas spending money. And you, hopefully next year I'll be able to do all of this with my sinking fund, but it's just not there this year. So, all right, let's go ahead and put our total expenses in. Okay. And then some more super cute washi. We're going to use the trees. I think it needs to go like this because it's so cute. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. I'm terrible at this. Terrible YouTuber. All right. And then I'm going to throw that sheet away to the recycling. And then we've got our potential rollover, actual rollover. And then one other thing. You guys know I like dates. So I'm going to grab this Planner Kate sheet. This is sheet S516. These are just long skinny labels. I think they're for the like daily petite. And I think I'm going to use, what color you guys think, huh? I think I'm going to use the gold. Okay, so we're going to use the gold. And so this is going to be December. Don't mess it up, Jessica. Uh, what day did we decide this was? Anybody remember? Because I don't. 11 through 24. Gosh. This year, it's crazy that I, I can't believe we're at this point. All right, and then this is just going to go right down here in the center so that I know what the dates are. So, now that we've got it all set up, let's draw some lines and add some numbers. All right, so this is going to be really hard at the top because, yep, she's real thick up at the top. I think next year I am actually going to use a disc bound system which will allow me to remove like, you know, if it starts getting super thick like this, then I can pull some of it into a different binder, like a different disc system. Because like, if you look like right there, like it's crooked from where the page moved, like she, she a little, little thick. All right, so numbers. So we know based off of our last paycheck budget that we did, Oh, that's our spending tracker. Here's our paycheck budget. Our rollover is negative $651. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and put that under actual because we know that that's happening and it's not going to change. No change. And I'm going to go ahead and do one for here and here because I know those aren't going to change. So next is going to be our credit rollover. You guys, I forgot I had an alarm set. Today is not my day, but okay, credit rollover. So I account for the, because I've already accounted for the expenses in my paycheck budget, I basically push them back into my budget as income. Sorry, tickle in my throat. That way I'm not double deducting it. So basically I would be deducting it in my spending initially and then deducting it again when I make the payment. So I would be double deducting it. So this way I'm ten it's it's kind of I guess it's kind of overkill, but it works in my brain and it makes sense to me. So if it doesn't make sense, please ask questions. If there's an easier way to do it, please let me know. So what I do is I go back to last, like basically this payment. Oh wait. I think I did this wrong. No, I didn't. 
I think I did. I don't know what I did, you guys. I think I jacked it all up. Because usually I would take the last month's, which would have been... So for this, it would have been November's. But I think I took October's. Oh, no, 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 no. So technically, so this is November. Oh, but I would have needed this... I think I should have taken this one and this one. Those would have been the most true. Because my, my credit card closes out on a cal calendar date. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to go with the numbers I have. And it's all going to work out. I'm not going to worry about it. Right, right, right. Okay. So I basically took the three weeks of October to figure out my credit rollover, and that ended up being $1,500. So actual is $1,500. Basically, that's spending that between the end of October and November that has already been accounted for, but I have not put in here. My income is going to be $1,680. And that's going to be the actual amount as well. And then I never budget miscellaneous because I don't know what's going to happen. So let's see here. So we've got fifteen hundred plus sixteen eighty minus the six fifty one gives me twenty five twenty nine to work with. Okay. So expenses these may or may not be correct oh lord i feel like i've messed this whole thing up so my hoa each month is 231 i need to go ahead and pay that chase was this makes sense though that i screwed it up because usually my credit card payments should be less or should be more than what i roll over I'm rolling over 15 between, but between Amazon and this regular Chase, I'm only paying like 1471. So that makes something may add an upright. So I'm gonna have to work on that. But for now, you know what, guys? I'm leaving it. That's a terrible one. Thank the Lord for erasable pens. So e savings always gets 100. Cash is gonna get 120. Not doing sinking funds this paycheck. Spending, I'm giving myself 200. And then for Christmas, I'm giving myself 200 as well. If we add all this up, we get 23, 22. So if we take our income minus our expenses, our actual, or our, I'm sorry, our potential rollover will be $207. I love seeing a positive number there. You guys know that we haven't seen one in a while because Jessica is terrible and spends all the money. So let's zoom you guys out just a little bit here. Oh, look how adorable it is. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is my paycheck budget for the, uh, technically the first paycheck of December, even though like it basically covers the middle of December because of the way things fell. Here are my spending trackers all ready to go. I am going to try to be better at tracking what I'm spending. But yeah, so I'm going to go back through these numbers, you guys. I'm going to have to figure out what I did wrong. Because something is not right, but you know what? I'm just over it. I, I don't even know anymore. Like, you guys ever get that way where you just, you know something's wrong, but you're really not sure and you just don't have the energy to fix it? That's kind of how I feel right now. Like, that that looks good. That looks fine. So, all right. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button down below so that you can become part of this little fam that we got going on in this corner of the internet. Hit the bell so you don't miss a single upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.